Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. A very warm welcome to the first virtual PYP Inders Day. If we had planned a similar event last year, there would have been disbelief amongst all stakeholders. But today, we feel quite comfortable. Over the last year, we have accepted change, learnt numerous things, have become proficient using technology at workplace, even changed our lifestyle. It took a pandemic for us to realize that we are all born with a growth mindset. It is therefore important that we respect this and continue to be open-minded. Be open-minded when evaluating our students and not judging them only on their scores or what they know, but judging them on what they can do, what they are capable of. Be open-minded in realizing that the purpose of education is not just sending them to a good college, but it is to make them future ready. To be open-minded to the fact that climate change is here and students will need to spend time in equipping themselves so that they can find solution to mitigate the impact of climate change. Be open-minded to the fact that students will need to go through courses, programs, experiences you know, from the short courses to the startup school that may show no immediate impact, but it is important in preparing them for an uncertain future. To be open-minded that classes beyond academics are no longer extracurricular or co-curricular, but are an integral part of the curriculum. Be open-minded to integrating artificial intelligence in education. I'm happy to state that next academic term we will have five teacher robots on campus that will assist teachers, a true amalgamation of artificial and human intelligence. Be open-minded as we strive not only to provide quality education, but relevant education so that our students are prepared for life, prepared for future. With those few words, I'd like to once again welcome everyone to the first virtual PYP in this day. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the program. Thank you. Come with me. The show must go on, they say. So on this wintry February dusk, we welcome you with warm hearts to an eve filled with celebration of music, dance and drama. We welcome you to the most highlighted event of the year, the PYP in this day. We thank our principal for those very warm and encouraging words of welcome. This year marks itself to be one of a kind, as it is not just the year that we all have done our schooling online, but also because despite all the difficulties that the pandemic threw our way, we have not given up. We indeed have risen up to the challenge and decided to not just survive, but thrive as well. So here we are, presenting our favorite day of the year, the PYP in the state, virtually. A very good evening to our respected CEO, General Ray, Principal Mr. Sandeep Chabra, Vice Principal Dr. Namita Agarwal, PAC Chairperson Mr. Supriya Nayak, PAC Co Chairperson Ms. Poonam Gada, our Heads of School Ms. Pooja Grover, Ms. Harsimran Kapani, and Ms. Chitra Jaykumar, teachers, and of course our dear parents. My name is Arjun. My name is Adiya. We will be your host for today and take you through this one-of-a-kind eve that awaits, ready to be unfolded. In this day is a red-letter day for us, for a plethora of reasons. This in this day is an opportunity to all those veil budding artists to come to the fore, and also is an event that showcases the effort put in to practice holistic learning. Even in the face of a pandemic, with what we have learned under the umbrella of performing arts, which includes singing, dramatics, and dancing. However mundane in life may get, with a little bit of drama, music, and dance, we can surely add some magic to it. Today's show promises to add just a tad bit of magic to the scene, with the right doses of expectation, drama, and entertainment. We assure you that we will leave you but dazzled with our skills and magnificence of the play and most of all the performances. Dear parents, we have worked hard to bring the smile on your faces 
and hopefully tonight's performances will rightly do so. Our school prayer, where the mind is without fear, penned by Shrabindra Nath Tagore, was one of his most vastly read and discussed poems. Tagore had written this poem when India was under the British rule, in form of a prayer to God, hoping for a true kind of freedom for his country. This song instills the meaning of true freedom in all young minds as well. This song inspires us to explore the path of courage and knowledge to unlock our true potential to be able to reach the pinnacle of freedom of the mind. I am honored to call upon Maribel, Hugo, Kiara, Samara, Ashi and Yuju. They will now be singing the invocation song in all its glory for us. School Pune. 
Each of us is encouraged to try out all forms of performing art, and dance is one of them. Constance Mozart, an illustrious Austrian artist, once said, Dancing is like dreaming with your feet. It is about expression, movement, and most of all, creativity. Bharat Natyam is a classical form of dance that was performed in the ancient temples of India as a form of worship. Lord Ganesha is widely revered as the patron of arts and sciences, the master of intellect and wisdom, and the remover of obstacles. As the god of beginnings, Lord Ganesha is honored at the start of rites and ceremonies. So we begin today's eventful eve with the Ganesh Vandana to invoke Lord Ganesha's blessings in the form of a classical recital. I am sure that this performance will make you proud of our rich Indian heritage and culture. <laughs> Followed by a few words by our PAC 
Chairperson, Mr. Supriya Naik. Very good evening to our respected principal, Mr. Sandeep Chhabra, our vice principal, Dr. Namita Agrawal, our PAC chairperson, Ms. Supriya Naik, and all the parents who are present here today. This last year has been like no other. Little did we know that year 2020 will test us on so many fronts. We had to indeed tread on the road that no one had taken before. But the best part of this journey was we were all together in it. When I look back today, from the uncertainty of our daily routines to successfully adapting to a fresh method of online teaching learning, we have come a long way. So I did like to take this opportunity to take you on a trip down the memory lane, which outlines the undeterred progress and the achievements of our young eagles in the PYB, even during COVID times. We at Indus believe in creating global citizens and leaders of tomorrow through the traditional values of love, empathy, discipline, and respect who think globally and act locally. Amidst all the chaos and ambiguity that the year threw at us, we as a school endeavored to keep this vision alive and thriving even in the virtual platform of schooling. The very fact that the virtual teaching learning process is quite a different ball game when compared to a physical school we made sure that our teaching methodologies, lesson planning, curriculum was swiftly restructured and redesigned so as to able to keep this transition as smooth as possible for our young learners. Synchronous and asynchronous learning was incorporated in our lessons to further instill the creativity and critical thinking skills in students. Since Indus and innovation go hand in hand, even in the new format of schooling, we had to keep the spark of ideation, originality and novelty alive in the young minds. Virtual leadership retreats across all grades gave our little eagles the chance to explore, create, experiment and innovate. They actively engaged in design thinking process to find inventive and viable solutions to persisting crisis enhancing their logical and creative bent of mind at the same time. To further showcase their brainchild, the PYP Innovation Day was helped to give just the right exposure to the students of grades 3, 4 and 5 to celebrate their little victories within the school community. Our mini principal sessions were specially designed and carved out to enhance and accentuate learning in the times of Corona. The exclusive sessions catered to small group of learners to not only create a strong teacher-student association, but it also aimed at working on child's mental and social well-being in these most absurd times when our little ones could not even step out to meet their friends. These sessions have branched out further to promote a culture of experimentation where our children are encouraged to brainstorm and boldly come up with ideas that show innovation in various fields. The mini principal sessions were also the hub of driving awareness about the climate change where students and teachers together took part in climate action project. The sensitivity that our learners inculcated during this project was commendable and they continue to work upon it. These budding climate activists have the heart in the right place and we are proud of their efforts. The most unique and important aspect at IISB is its leadership curriculum. Through the virtual leadership lessons, the teachers and students have left no stone unturned to inculcate and imbibe the tenets of this curriculum in their being and lifestyle. Stress on goal setting, deep reading, promoting the philosophy of Tikkun Olam to heal the world with little acts of kindness and learning the art of persuasive communication has only helped our little eagles to identify the leader in them who endorses the qualities of a lifelong learner. If not anything, the year 2020 taught each one of us that after all, it is the survival of the fittest and the survival is dependent on life skills. For the first time ever, 
IISP ventured out into offering its students a plethora of liberal education choices in the format of ATAR course. The courses provided experiential learning in order to develop scientific learning outcomes that are essential for work, citizenship and life. The excitement and the enthusiasm with which our students look forward to only shows that this new initiative was indeed a feather in our cap. Celebrations in the PYP are varied. Sharing the glory with the popular industry this year, we have another landmark, first ever event that won everyone's heart. Yes, you guessed it right, the iLead Cup, which was held at IISP. Participation of each and every child across all grades, all programs entirely on a virtual platform was a sure example of teamwork, creativity, and glorious spirits to celebrate everyone's distinctive talents. To ensure maximum resemblance and connection to physical schooling, we ensured our patent highlights like special assemblies, parent-teacher meetings, end of unit celebrations were held and executed seamlessly, even remotely on a virtual platform. Last but not the least, the exclusively chalked out contact time in weekly schedules and the monthly social collaborations have been brought in this year to provide a one-on-one -on -one connect with every child who is a part of the PYP. Our only aim this session was to bring normalcy in our children's lives, despite the abnormalcy all around the world. We know our little ones needed to be loved and protected even more than not only physically, but also emotionally and every new aspect that you've noticed this term was to enhance our learners' well-being. Since our young eagles could not come to their happy place, their school, we strive to bring their school to their homes. At Indus, every day is an opportunity for our students to play, learn, grow and face challenges without any fear or doubt. I'm extremely proud of the achievements of the PYP and the dynamic staff here at IISP who proudly live the motto of Indus in Omnia Paratus, prepared for all challenges. And today, dear parents, you will witness all of the above as our entire team of students and staff bring together the first ever again, the virtual PYP industry adorned with stellar performances. But before we move ahead with these performances, I would like to invite our lively and jestful pack chairperson, Ms. Supriya Naik, to share a few words of encouragement and motivation with our learners. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, Ms. Pooja. Good evening, General Ray, Mr. Chabra, members of the staff, my fellow parents and students. As Remy the Rat from Ratatouille said, the only thing predictable about life is its unpredictability. Barely a year ago, we had just only begun to hear about a virus that was plaguing China, and then it got to the rest of us, and all of our lives changed. I remember being particularly concerned about how our little ones would take this change, and yet, how easily you all adapted. From online classes, to online competitions, and now industry, the enthusiasm has been absolutely infectious. Cheers to your indomitable spirit. I'm sure that we are in for an absolute treat this evening and I can't wait to see the show. So, in the words of the great Dr. Seuss, congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the guy who'll decide where to go. Kid, you'll move mountains, so, be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Ali Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Thank you. I think each year we have to set a higher benchmark for ourselves at Indus. Well, like they say, aim for the stars. Thank you, Ms. Supriya and Ms. Pooja for helping us find more reasons to keep the fire in us burning. Can you imagine what your life would look without music? Just like a good soundtrack accompanies a wonderful movie. 
Music accompanies you throughout your entire life. Music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the imagination and life to everything on this planet. Music, they say, is the strongest form of magic. To sprinkle some more magic into this delightful evening, next up we have an instrumental symphony for you that will act as a prelude for the rest of the evening. Our budding musicians from the PYP have worked very hard to bring life to this composition. So presenting to you the instrumental symphony from the PYP. to their personal learnings through their journey this year. Today, they will be sharing their thoughts and experiences with us. First up, we have the PYP head girl, who is one of our most enthusiastic members of the PYP. She is someone who believes in doing right by the planet we live on strongly and is one of our student activists for climate change as well. So presenting to you our first iLead speaker for the evening, Sarah Shah, who will be sharing her experience of working on projects and the need to be internationally minded. Good evening to all parents, teachers and friends present here today. I am Sarah Shah, the PYP head girl for the academic year 2020 to 2021. On the occasion of our first virtual PYP interstate, I would like to take this opportunity to throw some light on how being internationally minded is the need of the hour and how our school is helping us to achieve this goal. To start with, what does it mean to be internationally minded? It means to develop empathy and be open-minded in order to make the world a better and peaceful place to live in. 
It means to be kind and respectful towards all forms of life. At Indus, we are all being helped to develop this mindset to prepare for the future and to make sure we have a future. This has helped our students realize what's actually happening around us and recognize the need of the art by thinking globally and learning to act locally. Indus is unique in many ways. It does not only teach academics, but has made me aware of global problems in its context, such as climate change, poverty, pollution, zero hunger, deforestation, and much more. This pandemic has surely helped me realize about the ill effects of climate change, and I strongly feel that by including it in our regular coursework, the school is working on helping us become more mindful of the world. An important aspect of being globally minded is having high levels of empathy. Empathy plays a major role as it helps one understand different problems and identify what someone or something is going through in order to take an appropriate action towards it. Our school's core values are love, empathy, discipline and respect. And the combination of these, in my opinion, is helping us become more globally minded. While we learn and develop these aspects in various ways, we are also being prepared to have a future that can coexist with artificial intelligence. IISP will soon be having robots and aid education too. And this, I believe, is a good evidence of how futurist our school is in terms of its vision. As a school trying to make a difference, we took part in the Climate Change Action Project, which gave us an exposure into the various causes and effects of climate change. I know the effect of my school taking this initiative because I have been motivated to take actions towards climate change myself. At our last sports day, we took a massive survey to help find different kinds of solutions towards climate change, to build awareness, as well as start a discussion amongst the parents, teachers and students. I'm also glad to share that the pandemic didn't exactly stop us because we move forward with our research and figure out more ways that harm our world and the possible ways we can contribute from our own homes. In my opinion, awareness about the problem around us is the first step towards change and hence, I have been part of such initiatives. To conclude, I would like to say that to be internationally minded, help you to gather solutions and help today's world overcome its challenges. We need to develop this way of thinking to be able to live in a conflict-free world. If you are ever going to help overcome a problem, you should always start small. Like the saying, every drop of water counts to make an ocean. Before I leave for the day, I urge you all to contribute in any way possible to help impact our world in a positive manner by doing away with our greed. And to not just consider our personal need, but the need of the whole planet. Thank you and wish you a great evening ahead. Thank you, Sara, for sharing your thoughts about the need to be internationally minded and how we all are moving towards that through various initiatives at school. Next up, we have one of our newest members of the PYP sharing his experience of joining Indus to online schooling for this academic session and why he thinks that Indus is truly one for kind. So we present to you Atmik Swaran from Grade 5. The great things we build end up building us. Good evening parents, teachers and my fellow eagles. I am the latest addition to the Indus family. But well, I must be honest, it doesn't feel like it. Today, I will be sharing my thoughts and experiences as I join the school. Only this year, I'm online too. I truly have come to believe that Indus is one of a kind, and here's why. Be it because of the leadership curriculum or just the special competitions, Indus is truly special, as it is always opening minds to create leaders of tomorrow. As a new student, I thought that I would have to learn the hard way and by myself, but Indus proved me wrong. Not only were the students friendly, but I was even given a student advisor, a teacher who was completely invested in my well-being and 
connected with me on a personal level to ensure that I was doing okay. This made me realize that Indus always goes above and beyond the norm. You know, there's one thing that only Indus group of schools does, or rather, created. You wonder what it is? Well, certainly, it's the leadership curriculum. I truly believe that this one thing is the single reason Indus is on top. A few days before I joined the school, I tried to find out more about the leadership curriculum, but I couldn't find it anywhere, even outside India. Only Indus schools have the leadership curriculum. Being newly introduced to it, I have to say that it has helped me learn new things, both academically and as a person. I've gained a whole lot more respect for people, and I now think of things from a whole new perspective which are the result of discussing topics like altruism, growth mindset, and deep reading as a part of the leadership curriculum. Indus is always encouraging young eagles to do more. This is my first year, yet Indus encouraged me to win three iLead events, multiple Melio challenges, and most of all, becoming student council member in my very first year. I have never been to a school that takes this much initiative for each and every student. In my experience, Indus goes beyond mere academics and focuses on all-round development in each and every one of us. It has taught me in a short span of time about what the entire world is facing because of climate change and how we, as citizens of the world, need to work to stop its negative effects. I have to accept that Indus has changed my entire thought process. I thought that I would never understand how to even start a company or just sell things. But now because of Indus, I even know what to do after starting a company. Even through all the hardships that COVID-19 has thrown at us, I think that the school has continued to work on their goal of trying to make future leaders. And I like to think that I am an example of that. Before I joined the school and became a part of Indus, I used to think that if something had not been done before, it's so because it is impossible. I definitely had a fixed mindset. But now I think anything is possible, and I mean it. If I can realize this progress made by me while having fun during online schooling, I'm sure that we all can collectively too, in order to be future leaders. My name is Atmik Smart, and I am a future leader. Thank you. Thank you, Atmik, for sharing your heartfelt emotions about joining a new school, and also for showcasing the faith and belief you place in your new learnings. Tonight, we will journey into a possible future which no longer seems distant, but in fact, very fast approaching. We will travel into a city where everything is made out of plastic, a place virtually devoid of nature, where no flowers or trees grow, where citizens buy fresh air from the collector. This is the story of a young girl who wishes to have a tree in her backyard that grows out of the ground. Her young neighbor, Benji, starts on a journey along with his friends to find a way to get one tree for her. The journey of Benji and his friends through different lands and their encounters with those who are closest to nature makes them realize how untainted beauty of Mother Earth has been compromised and exploited by the humans. Interspersed with music and dance, it is their odyssey in search of a real key. Will they succeed? Or will it give birth to yet another odyssey? Come and join Benji in his adventurous journey and unravel the truths of nature with him. So ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts for a dramatic ride into the future. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the odyssey of mankind.
future. Others call me Mother Nature. I've been here for over four and a half billion years. 22,500 times longer than you. I don't really need people, but people need me. Yes, your future depends on me. When I thrive, you thrive. When I falter, you falter. Or worse. here for eons. I have fed species greater than you, and I have starved species greater than you. My oceans, my soil, my flowing streams, my forests, they all can take you or leave you. How you choose to live each day, whether you regard or disregard me, doesn't really matter to me. One way or the other, your actions will determine your fate, not mine. I am nature. I will go on. I am prepared to evolve. Are you? This is 
soft light to share. Forever and together, forever and ever, in the water, land and air, this is our that to share. Together we can go. in my backyard again what of course not modern airplane this time whatever do you want to see something cool are you sure come on oh did you did you paint this do you like it are you kidding this is amazing what are those those are trees, real ones. They used to grow all around here. And people say the touch of the flowers and leaves was softer than anything, even silk. And they smelled <sighs> like butterfly milk. Wow. What does that even mean? I know, right? Oh, yeah. What I want more than anything in the whole world is to see a real living tree growing in my backyard. So Mia, I'm just thinking out loud here. If someone, somehow, got you one? Well, I'd probably make him or her my best friend on the spot. I bet that sounds crazy. Does that sound crazy? It's not crazy. Not crazy at all. Well, folks, as you can see, Benji is a boy with a plan. A plan to make Mia his new best friend. Let us take a sneak peek into Benji's house. Come on, come with me. So, Mom, do you happen to know if there's any place I could get a real free? Benji, we already have a tree. It's the latest model. I know, but a real tree. The one that grows on the ground or whatever, you know. Like a real tree. Really? You'd rather have some dirty, messy lump of wood that just sticks on the ground? And does what? I don't even know what it does. What's its purpose? Look what we've got. It's the Ogomatic. The only tree with its own remote. I 
got it from the Amazon sale at a 2% discount. Summer, Autumn, Winter. The tree changes with each click to match the season and disco. Sun has two left feet. So, anyways, let's just say I need a tree. Where should I go? What should I do? Then you know what? You need to find this old man, my grand uncle. Wow. You mean to say my great grand uncle? <laughs> Mom. Ah, I think I forgot my medicine upstairs. Would you be a dear and go get it for me? Okay, mom. Okay, here's the deal. My grand uncle, Dr. Hershington, is the man who knows how you can get a real tree. If you want one, you need to find him. Mm -hmm. Dr. Hershington. Granny, is this real? I mean, you. Never mentioned your grand uncle before. Oh, he's real, all right. Well, where can I find him? Far, very far, very far, outside of town, where the wind blows and the grass grows, and you'll see old clothes oh. oh granny you're so dramatic when benji learned about his great grand uncle dr hershington he thought it would be a cakewalk to just go to him and ask for it well as rightly said man proposes and god disposes would it really be a cakewalk let SOS! SOS! We need to go far, very far, very far outside of town to get the tree. As crazy as it sounds, but yes, that's what we are doing. And good friends don't let you do crazy things alone. So we are doing this crazy thing together. Pack a small bag and be ready with your bikes. We leave at the break of the dawn. We have our bags ready. Okay. Hey, wait! Far, far away. Where we shall find trees. That means we will also see some animals. Animals? animals. Yes, animals. My grandma told me that her grandma my told her lots of stories about animals. Like lions, tigers, monkeys, rhinos, elephants. So, if there are trees in that far away land, we might get to see those animals too. Cool! I'm so excited! Oh, Benji! What a terrible idea! But then, I'm always excited about crazy and terrible ideas. Oh, friends, don't forget to leave a note behind for your fox. Let's kill out the Scotland they are chasing us. Let's go on an adventure then. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hush, hush, class in the jungle. Boomba, boomba, wada wada boomba. Crawl, crawl, moving through the jungle. Boomba, boomba, wada wada boomba. We are going on a jungle adventure, an exciting. It's the tiger. The monkey, the best dancer. No, it's the gorilla. The elephant, the strongest one. No, it's the rhino. Everybody, let's sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hush, hush, crossing the jungle. Boomba, boomba, wada wada boomba. Crawl, crawl, moving through the jungle. Boomba, boomba, wada wada boomba. Bongo, go solo. Adventure, you and I, we all go 
Stairs. This is a plaster. How would you kids know what is a plaster? Now get out of my property. No way. Well, grand uncle, this is Benji. Your niece Judy is his granny. Ah, Judy. Where is she? You are Benji. Oh, okay. But what do you want? Well, we want to see a real tree. Granny Judy told me you could help me find a real tree. Well, what makes you think I will help you? Grandad, will you please tell us what exactly happened? Where did all the trees go? Those greedy humans cut all the trees in spite of repeated warnings. When I raised my voice against them, they had me under house arrest. I cried and cried, told them to be careful. But, but they did not listen to me or my fellow scientists. I have heard there used to be beautiful insects. Lovely bright colored insects and even birds. They were called butterflies. The entire planet was affected. More frequent and intense drought, storms, heat waves, rising sea levels, melting glaciers and warming oceans directly harmed the animals, destroyed the places they live, and wreaked havoc. Thank you. 
the sea like? I have read about the sea forests. I am sure they were also destroyed because of man's carelessness. Please tell us about the sea life, Grand Uncle. I know about the sea urchins and the seahorses. Oh, they were so cute. Oh, the oceans. How I love the company of those marine fins. CO2 emissions made the oceans more acidic, making many marine species and ecosystems increasingly vulnerable. Ocean acidification reduced the ability of marine organisms such as corals, plankton and shellfish to build their shells and skeletal structures. It also reduced the growth and survival rates, eventually making them extinct. Would you care to see their pictures? Yes, of course, Grand Uncle. Where is the hologram? Ha ha ha. Hey, look at this picture. A creature is kissing you. You don't look scared. Well, that's a dolphin. His name was Sammy. I loved him so much. Well, what this is, Grand Uncle? It is crispy. Oh, 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 oh. Achoo! Sorry, and smells different. It is a book, my dear. How would you know what a book is? Do you want to see something interesting? Yes! 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 Smart boy, I have saved it for a day when I can hand over these friends to someone who will look after them and help them survive. I know you children can do it. Well, it's a huge responsibility. Do you think we will be able to take care of them? What if we fail to do so? I am very, 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 very scared to take them. Nonsense! Nonsense! Of course we can take care of them. Give them to me and I shall take them to my dad. Na 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 and he will keep them in the museum and earn money the way he's earning all those oxygen bottles. Don't you dare to say anything about my dad. You are just jumped because we are rich. Stop it you both. What do you think you are doing? Have you forgotten why we came here? I'm sorry but this no. Stop it guy. Grand uncle, actually we had come here for the tree. Where can we get to see the tree? For that, you will have to travel further. You will reach the land of no necessities. Land of no necessities? Okay, we have to travel again. How far is it? Not very far. But please do come again on your way back and take these marine friends with you. You can just leave them in a pond. Yes, we do have a beautiful pond in our town. Let's not delay further. Thank you so much, Grand Uncle. See you on our way back. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Looks like they have reached another land. Someone is coming. I wonder who they are. What are they wearing? They look so weird. Actually, funny. Ladies and gentlemen, now I know who they are. What you see here are the natives called the Waste Not, Want Not Tribe. I think we have reached our destination. Have we? Oh. Oh. This is the land of bad necessities and we are the Waste Not, Want Not Tribe. There are no shops in this land. And no one buys anything. Climate change, let me tell you what it's all about. The ozone layer is the pain, what will we do without? The rise of ever temperature makes me want to shout. Burning fast fuels, what will happen when we run out? The greenhouse effect, do you need a verbal illustration? Atmospheric gases transform light into heat radiation. Blocks are the humpily bit, it's like the fish go free. It's for the good of the mission. 
should just be winning. When it comes to money, our pockets should be winning. What do we humans do that makes the earth upset? Pollution from our factories, so oh, we don't forget. See them drive, hope, luck. Worst case scenario, you only get one shot in life. The saving game, Mario. There's a hole in those nets, you work in separate trees. And go up, it's got your pants and you set the power. A winter rains of shit and looks like a giant flower. Don't forget to recycle every day or even every hour. Thanks for for the earth like a tar. I suggest that we reduce our CO2 emissions unless you can stop global warming with a few new magicians. A hypothetical car has seen when it comes down. Anything you can, you have my permission. It should be held the new cushion. Get a bit more green can just keep pushing. That the earth will change its guitar like a musician. You can't see this problem. Go see an optician. Which is woven from thread, which is spun from cotton. Which grows on these plants. And do you know how many forests were cut down to grow these plants? No! no. We don't know! And which grew the cotton from which the thread was spun? From which the cloth was woven? From which this dress was made? Dress! My dress! I don't think my dress is made from cotton because we don't have any dress. Listen, Dad. This is urgent. Our business is at stake, and we must do something about it. Do reach. Bye bye. Hello. What? Who are you talking to? What are you saying? Urgent. What is going on, Noah? 
No, no, nothing. Come on, come on. Let's leave now. Remember, we must collect the fish that when we meet there and uncle. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go yeah. what, right? What began as a silly tomfoolery for the kids was now becoming a part of discovering the truth. The kids living in this modern world had no idea. Once upon a time, there was a world full of untouched nature and trees and flowers and honey bees where green was a dominating color and the water of the oceans and the sea was pristine. Benji and his friends reached the last land of nature and they're shocked to see what's happening there. I must say, by now our young friends are fully aware of how grim the situation was, yet totally ignored. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what they've reached now. They have reached the land of oceans and seas. <laughs> But, but where can we find him? I have never felt so helpless in life before. Don't lose hope, Bella. We will find him. Remember what those natives said? He is omnipresent. So I'm sure he is watching us even now. Come, shall we request him to show us and help us? Dear Mr. Trebo, please help us. Please show yourself. We've now understood it all and it's time to rectify the mistakes. We feel the lands and waters of nature. Now no one's been missing. Our ancestors have been ignoring and neglected. We have paid a huge cost for it. With each passing experience, the children realized that the earth needed healing and our life on the earth was in their hands. And observing the transformation, the carefree children to be responsible citizens of the earth. Mr. Tebow thought it was indeed the right time to pass on to them his long hearted, precious legacy, the last seed, the mother seed. You could say it was the Big Bang Theory, a 
of the birth of the plant kingdom. What sound is that? Let me check. What sound was that? First, it was a grand uncle. Then those weird natives. And now this noise. I should not come. Let's go back because it's too late. What else can be expected from you? You sissy boy. Ah. Stop it, Bella. You two don't start again. No, I relax. I think someone is coming here. Shia, take this seat. Protect it and guard it just as you would with your life. Remember, this is the reason your life will thrive in the future. Who? Who are you? What did you give to Benji? It is the mother seat. Take it. Mr. Trebo. Mr. Trebo. Mr. Trebo. Mr. Trebo. But, but Mr. Trebo, you're giving something so precious to us. Why would you leave that for us? Because unless someone like you gets a whole of a lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not the last mother seed. You need to plant it, Benji. But, but Mr. Trebo, don't you think all our efforts will be wasted? I mean, nobody cares about the trees anymore. Then make them care. Land and see it in the middle of the town, where everyone can see it. I know it may seem small and insignificant, but it's not about what it is. It's about what it can become. That's not just a seed. Also, my friends have given you some more seeds. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We won't let you down, Mr. Trebo. I hope so. Benji and his friends drive off towards home with a new dream in their eyes. A dream to heal this world. With grit and determination, these newly transformed green soldiers are ready to take action and bring about a change. Like seriously, you dropped your model airplane in my backyard again? See what I've got? It's the mother seed. And see this? So many seeds! Our town will be green again! Full of green trees! There won't be any need to buy the bottled oxygen! Let's go and plant this mother seed first! In the middle of the night, when no one but the moon was awake, Benji and Mia, along with their friends, went to the central park of the town. The park was right in the center of the town. They dug the soil quietly and are about to bury the last mother seed. But wait! Somebody is lurking in the dark. Who is it? Oh no! This is none other than Mr. X. Wonder what he is doing here. Let's go and check. Give it to me, you ball of dust! What do you think you're doing? No, we have to plant it. Do you think I'm alive to do that? Don't you know me? I am Mr. X. Even the sheriff is afraid of me. This I makes the government dance to my dreams. <laughs> this is not about you and Benji. It's about the It's about the earth. We need trees. It's high time we wake up. Wake up, wake up. For what, Benji? Look around you. Who needs trees? Everyone is so happy. Please. Mr. X, don't do this. Give us these seeds. Are you not? My business is at stake. Who will buy my oxygen bottles? I will not allow you to plant this seed. Here. Here. I planted it. Yes. Here. I planted it. And now we should guard it with an electric fence. My dad gave me this idea. Come, Benji and friends. Let's plant these remaining seeds in the city. My dad, man, I have always started working on those electric wires.
trees No more trees means no more me Wow. 
of the generation and say that we wanna make it a better place for children and our children's children so that they know it's a better world for them than for them and think if they can make it a better place. There's a place in your heart and I know that it's love and a space much brighter than tomorrow And if you really try you find there's no need to cry In this place you feel there's no hurt or sorrow There are ways to get there If you care enough for the living Make a little space Make a better place In the world Cares for joyful giving. If we try, we shall see. In this bliss, we cannot feel fear of dread. We stop existing and start living. Then it feels that always love's enough for us growing. So make a better world. Make a better world. Heal the world. A better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying. If you care enough for the living, make a better place for you and for me. And the dreaming you are conceived in will be a joyful face. And the world we once believed in will shine again. So, though it's plain to see, so it's heavenly. Be God's love, fly so high. Let our spirits never die. In my heart, I feel you are all my brothers. Create a world with no fear. Together we'll cry happy tears. Your name should turn this world into passion. We could really get there If you care enough for the living Make a little space To make a better place In the world Make it a better place For you and for me And the entire human race There are people dying If you care enough for the living that indeed was a great display of acting skills. Thank you friends for that performance that we hope was an eye opener for many of us who tend to forget what impact our actions have on nature. We hope each of you who have joined us here today have taken back something with you and have loved our performances. I now request our very dynamic PYP coordinator, Ms. Manju Surya Narayanan, to present the vote of thanks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As we come to the close of yet another in this day, it is my honor to thank all the people who are associated with this wonderful production. First, I would like to thank our principal, Mr. Sandeep Chabra, for always guiding us. Next, our Vice Principal, Dr. Namita Agarwal, for being a pillar of support for us. Our primary head of school, Ms. Pooja Grover, is a detail-oriented person. She ensured that every little thing was in place. Thank you, ma'am. Ms. Helen Furtado, our early years coordinator, has wonderfully creative ideas. Thank you, for, Helen, for all the support you have extended. Next, 
I would like to thank Captain Bali and his admin team for accommodating every request of ours. Mr. Pratik and team from Baha Media Works did the slick editing for this industry. They made the virtual industry possible and a grand success. Thank you, sir. What is a play without a director? I speak of none other than Ms. Padmaja More, our drama facilitator. Thank you, Ms. Padmaja, for your wonderful direction and you ensured that every child shined on stage. Next, I would like to extend my sincere appreciation to Ms. Shweta Mulye, our dance facilitator, and Ms. Pubali Gupta and Ms. Preeti Vate, our music facilitators. Every team has silent warriors. They work behind the scenes. Despite their long hours, they always have your back. I speak of none other than my PYP team of teachers. Thank you teachers for having done everything that you have. Despite your long curriculum demands, you have ensured that everything is in place. It's a complete privilege to work with you all. And my dear students, you are truly the stars of today. You did so beautifully well. Your warm enthusiasm and your tireless practice sessions paid off. Give yourselves a pat on your back and thank you so much for everything that you did. And dear parents, we are because you are. Thank you so much for accommodating every request of ours, ensuring the videos came on time, ensuring that the costumes are in place and ensuring that every little detail is taken care of. Thank you so much one and all and have a wonderful evening. Thank you Ms. Manju for your kind words. Dear parents, Thank you for being such a lovely and patient audience tonight. Your love and support indeed has brought out the best in us. We hope that we could bring a smile on your faces with our honest performances. We're going to call it a night now and see you next year. It's a wrap. We now kindly request you to rise for our school song and national anthem. <laughs> Oh